and let's get back with our uh, uh, radial menu tutorial so in previous video you would have I uh, followed properly you should get something like this now uh, appear and disappear is just like a flash so uh, we have to change that uh, into something better so we will add uh, an I mean, animation to up uh, to be execute I mean to be uh, run uh, before this appears and uh, while this disappears okay let's add that okay so go to window click on animations and you get this animation tab so I'll, I'll move this here Let's let this be here itself. Okay, so click on plus and give a give a name to the animation. Okay, click on it. You you'll get this uh, uh, that the timeline pad activated. So now we have to track uh, each item and uh, we'll be adding an animation to that. So let's start from the center. So from center, we'll add uh, all this. Click on track and uh, center button. And uh, again on track, add render opacity and then uh, transform. So it should start with zero. So I give this as zero and uh, in transform scale set x to 0 and uh, y to 0 and then uh, move your uh, timeline a bit uh, I'll keep it at 25 and at 25 I set the uh, render opacity to 1 and uh, the scale I will set it to 1.2 and 1.2 and after uh, a couple of frames after a couple of frames I will set it to 1 uh, this is for a, a bit of bubble effect kind of thing so this part is optional if you just wanted to make it uh, as, as zoom out and uh, print to visible you can stop it here but this will add a bit more uh, uh, dramatic effect so i'll compile this and to make uh, this to appear uh, so here on uh, event construct we have to uh, play this animation go to event construct and uh, the animation and here we have to give the animation name get up here and connect it here and we, we want this animation to be played uh, when we are uh, closing the menu also to do that uh, we are controlling this menu uh, via the uh, player controller so open the player controller blueprint and here we are closing this uh, animation so before we remove it from the parent play animation and here uh, we will play it in reverse play animation in reverse so connect this here and um, instead of playing it in reverse uh, because we, we want to remove this from the parent only after the animation is completed so 
play animation with reversed event so use this and connect this to reversed and here play mode set to reverse and playback speed everything let it be uh, the set to default okay now let's see Okay, we didn't select the animation to be played. So, get up here, connect this here. So, when we press Q now, okay, this looks fine. Now, let's uh, use the same uh, uh, method for all the buttons we have. So that for each each button comes with the pop. So let me add it. Uh, I'll I'll fast forward a bit uh, so that to save your time. But it, it's it's one and the same. So I'll add for uh, buttons one by one.
okay looks like i have made them to zero for the uh, bottom left and bottom right uh, let me correct that okay, at the end the rental opacity uh, opacity is set to uh, zero so i'll make this as one bottom right The reason why it happened only to these two is uh, when I started uh, adding the track, I think the uh, timeline trigger was here. So it's always better to have it at the start and then add so that to avoid the uh, last frame mismatches. So this should be fine now. Okay, still uh, the bottom left is not working as expected. Here the render opacity is not set. I think I don't need the screen. Okay. Okay, this looks good now. Uh, I think I'll close this video for now. Uh, next video I'll show a couple of variations how how uh, with the same uh, things we have added. Uh, how we can change this animation a bit. So see you in the next video. Thanks.